So after we ready fill ink to the ink tank, and then we can start to load the ink from the ink tank to the ink damper. Before we load ink to the ink damper, we must keep the machine powered on. Power on the machine. And we need to move out the carriage from the home position. And also move the table to front to hold the carriage. So we go to control panel. We move, place left. It's the left button. We place left. Then the carriage will back. We move, move out. We move to the middle, to the middle about. Then we place the feet. Press the feed button. Then the table will move to front. The table starts to move to front. Please remember, we must be sure the table will not scratch the print head. The table. We move the table to front just for hold the waste ink. Then we moving down the table. We can go to the up down motion here. Also, we can control from the software. We may press down. Then the table starts to moving down. Move about five centimeters. Then we can start to load the ink. Before we load ink, we must uh, open the carriage cover by loosening the screw. Then we first uh, loosen the top two screw. And then the front two screw at the bottom. And then one screw at the left. And then one screw at the right. And then we can take out the front carriage cover. We can see here they have uh, some. Uh, any damper connected. It's for white, it's for color, it's for varnish. Right now, the print head is not installed because if we install the print head that we deliver, we are easy to damage the print head. So before delivery, we are not install the print head. Then we can start to load ink. Before we load ink, we must install the print head. Also, before we install the print head, we must be sure the machine is power off. Then we can start to power off the machine and we install the print head first. Then we load the ink to the ink damper. When we move out the carriage from the home position, we can see the cap station here. There are two, three caps, three caps in, installed at the right side of the machine. First one is the white, and then color and varnish, three caps, match with the three print head, white, color, and varnish. So before we load the ink, we must uh, install the print head first, then we load the ink to the damper. Then before we install the print head, we must uh, power off the machine. This is very important. If we keep the machine power on and then we connect the print head cable, it will short print head and board. So this is very important. Please remember, we go to the back side and we power off the general power of the machine. And for safety, we take out the print head, the pop print, the print cable, our cable, and we close open, close open for several times 
to release the static power. To be sure the machine is powered off, then we can start to install the print head. And before we install the print head, we must take out the front carriage cover. So also we install, we, we remove the two screw at the left and the two screw at the right. We don't need to remove the screw, just loosen a little bit. And also loosen two screw at the right side. Then we can take off the front cover. And we can see here have some connectors. This is the optical cable. Connect from the, the main board. And then here is the inco film sensor. And this is the lead sensor. And here is the is the anti inclusion anti inclusion heat from here. And the, here is the power port, the power port for the carriage board have different the label of different the power, 242 voltage minor, minor plus and minus and 20, 42 voltage is 42 voltage and 24 voltage. This four cable cannot run connection. Normally, you do not need to change it or touch it. And this one is 24 voltage. If you change the voltage, we are short the print head and short, short the board. And here also we can see have some uh, connector, connect port for print head. And then here is the ink damper and ink damper holder. Then we can start to install the print head. Please remember, before we install print head, we must, must, must pop off the machine. Then we can start to install the print head. First, we install the wet print head at the, the boot, the back side. And we find out print head cable from the package. And also print head screw for backup. Each print head Needed two cables, but needed four cables, two at the right and two at the left. So first, we open the package and take out the print head. We install the print head this way. See the print head have three screw. One, two, three, and this one is no no holes. No screw holes then go to the back side. The barcode at the front side, by this way. Then first, we connect the print head cable. Here's, this is genuinely Epson print head, Epson 3200. And the print head surface, we cannot touch it by finger or scratch it or get dirty. We must keep the print head surface clean. We connect the print head cable. First is the down cable, pin at this side. We push to the bottom. And we take out again to check if it have a liquid or any dust. We must be sure the pin is con connect well. And then it's the top. Connect by this way. And then on that side. And then connect like this. W 
double check it's a connection. After we connect it, then we put the print head this way. And then we take out the holder by the wrench. First, we must remove all of the holder. We need to check the capstation position. We need to take out it and put it at the other side, and also for the front. Put at one side and also for the last one. We put back the cover because we want make the damper fixed during delivery. So once you get the machine, you need to take it out before you install the print head. It's the end damper holder, plastic one. We put it by one side. Be sure the, the screw will not take it out. So after that, we need to, we can find out they have three hole for connect the print head and the damper holder. Then we need to, well, right now we must remove everything from the table. Remove everything from the table. From the, table. the print head, the, tape, the cables, the screw, everything we must remove from the table. Then we need to power on the machine again. Then we go to the back side of the machine and we power on the machine without print head installed. We connect the cable back. Then we go to see the front. Because we want to check, we need to read the alignment for the cap station position. And then also we must be sure the emergency button is out, at out. Then the carriage starts to move and go to home position. Then the table, the table goes to backwards for self testing. And then we're just waiting for the cap station moving up.
you must be sure the gap between the hole and the capacitation must be exactly the same position. So for here we can see the gap is different. The gap is bigger, the gap is smaller. Then we need to read the adjustment, the cap station, to make sure the cap station, the caps, three caps, are the same position between the rubber, black rubber edge and the metal edge. Must be same edge at back side, front side, left and right side. We can remove out place left. Then the carriage back will move to move out. And then we can we can read the adjustment, the cap station, and loosen the screw, four screw at different position. To loosen it and then move the position of the caps to be sure the three caps are same position of the the hole. Normally the caps is installed where the caps is alignment with good alignment before delivery. But maybe sometimes for the low of delivery, the caps or the carriage will be loosened. So we need to double check and do the calibration again before we install the print head. Because if we put in put the print head, it will be hard to see. We cannot see the gap between the caps and the cap station. If we have wrong cap if we have the wrong connection, then the caps cannot hold the print head wear. So when we do the head cleaning, we cannot have the good the ink coming out. So of course we cannot have a good not a check print or that print job. So we just uh, loosen the screws from here and here. All the screw three screw at each caps to be sure the cap station match with the the print head good. Then we pop on. The, then we pop off the machine and we install the print head. So this is really important. So if we do the little alignment adjustment by the three caps, we still cannot match a good position. Cannot be cannot get the the caps at the center of the print head. So we can remove the cover by loosening the screw to open the the front cover. Then we can take out the metal cover. Then we can see the caps, the caps here, the caps. <clears throat> so we can read the adjustment, the, the screw here. We can remove the caps to front by the screw here, here. And also a back side, another side, two screws, this one and this one. We can move the carriage to front if we have the wrong connection for front and the back. So we can loosen the screw.
then we can push down the emergency button switch. <coughs> then we can pull the carriage to the position. And also, before we alignment, we can move up. There's a belt here. We move the belt up. But not match print head. Not scratch print head. We don't repeat. Because we hit it here, so the anti conclusion system is working. So we can release from the software later. <coughs> we move out, move the carriage to home position. And then we see if the front, we move the, move the caps to front. The whole cut, the whole system to front. See, we can move it. We move to the middle position. So we must be sure the gap between the caps front and the back is the middle. Normally we just finished the, we already finished the alignment. Then we lock back the screw. And we pull back again to check the caps at the middle. Stay a little bit. and must be struck. The same edge. We move to front. A little bit. Now, the front and the back, the same edge that we lock. The three, four screw, lock back. <clears throat> then we go to Pop off the machine and pop on again. Pop off and waiting for several seconds. And then pop on again. To let the machine find the home position automatically. We must release the emergency button. Then we can see now it's at the same edge. Left, right, front, back, the same edge, same gap for each. Just be sure the metal 
this this white position must be at the middle of the print head position. Each caps must be central. Otherwise, if we print head, we cannot have a good. We have, cannot have a good not check and it cannot pump it out fully. So this is the procedure to adjust the cap station. Three caps before you install print head. First little adjustment, the small caps. If small caps cannot get the good position, I will open the cover and we 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 adjust the whole caps position. So after we already alignment the three caps, the gap between the print head port or us at the middle, at the central, for front, back, left, and right. We already make the alignment ready. Then we can start to install the print head. Before we install print head, we must be sure the machine is powered off. Then we move the carrier, move the carriage out of home position first. Place left. Then we also move the table to front to place the feet. After that, then we go to the general power switch. We open the close switch off the machine, take out the cable, and place for several times, and then keep power off like this. Please remember, we must power off the machine before we install the print head. Then we go to the print head position, and we start to install the print head. Before we install the print head, you, you must find out the paper that goes with the machine delivery. Here is a show the Alpha Max C250 I3200 print head, the, the printer can collect head cable connection and ink damper flow. So from the paper we can see here, this is the wet print head. Wet print head. And this is the color, it's the varnish. Same as here, wet color, varnish. And also have a full adapter board at the carriage board from here. One, two, three, four. So here is for connect with color print head, the four cables. The first one is color print head. And this one is for connect with wet print head. It's wet print head. And here, the four is for connect with varnish print head. Here. So, color, wet, varnish. Same as color, wet, varnish. And this one is no connection. It's empty because the printer only used the three print head. So after we fully understand the wire connection and the ink tuber, this is all for wet, and this is for KCMY, for damper. And this is all a varnish. After we fully understand this connection map, then we start to install print head. <coughs> First, we connect the cable as this. We connect again. Find out the print head cable goes to machine delivery. Then we find out print head. Here, this print head. We install the print head by this way. So we can see here the print head have three holes. One, two, three. But this one is empty without any connection. So we hold print head by this and we install print head by this direction. And also the barcode is at the front. So we just connect print head cable. First is the left, it's right up. It's right up. Then we connect right down.
this the left down. This is, then we connect the left to find a print here cable from the package. This is the left up. And then the left down. Before we install the print head cable, we must be sure the pin is flat, it does scratch or dirty. And when we put it inside and we take it out, we check if it is have any liquid. If any liquid, we must make it dry. Like this. So each print head have have four cables. Left up, a uh, right up, right down, and left up, left down, four cables. Then we put print head to the printer port like this, like this way. And then we find out the white ink, ink damper, the holder. We put the holder to the print head position, as this. As this. This one has no connection. Same as this. As this way. Let me loosen back the screw to the printer. The same connection. Make the same position. Not too tighten first time. We just uh, lock it first. Then we make the print head flat, not bent. Need to adjust it first. Then we lock. And also, before we lock, we must be sure the damper can be good connection. We must move out, move out the tape first. So before we install this holder, we must remove the tape. The tape is for protective the damper for delivery. So we remove the tape, then we install back. Lock the damper and the print head together to the print head board. Not too tight the first time, we just lock it. Later, we must do some little adjustment. You can remove the tape first. So, remember, we must power out the machine before we install print head, it's very important. Must be strongly command you. Strong, I warn you again. (laughs) 
then we need to adjustments a little bit to make the print head vertical and horizontal with the palette. Then we lock fasten it. Not too tighten. Just lock the without shaking is okay. Then we try to lock the carry the, the damper to be sure if the damper is connected where. If we put it back, it's gonna be locked, then it's, it's not loosened. That means connect wheel. Each damper we must try to connect. Here all can be turned connected back, can be pushed to the bottom without any shaking. So this good connection. Then we start to connect the print head cable. This is very important. This is the wet print head. Wet print head. And we find out the paper again here. <clears throat> this wet print head here have two cable at the left and two tube at the right. The top left connect to the left up here. It's the left up and right up, left down, right down. Same as print head. Let me find out the label. This is the wet print head here. Same as the wet print head here. So here we also have, can see the mark. Left up here, right up. And back side, the left, the left down, right down. So we just connect as the map. So first we connect the left up. So here is the left up. We connect to left up. And then it's the left down. Left down, same as here, left down. Left down, we connect to left down here. This is left down. Then we connect the right cable. The right up, the top up. We go to here, right up. Then the right down, we go to back side, right down here. It's right down. So this the, the wet print head cable connection as this. After that, we can bend a little bit the cable to back side. Later we can bend together. Then we start to install the car print head, the same procedure. We find our print head, and also we connect print head cable. We also must be sure it's no liquid. We can try to connect. And we check it's no liquid. Maybe sometimes because inside have some liquid for, for keep weight. So you must double check. It's clean without scratch. So this is the left, it's right up, and then right down. And then left up. It's the left up. The pin go to up position. And then lift it down. Or right down. Like this. Then we put to the color port here. We hold about this. And then 
find out the number for color is here. This color. Install the color print head. At this way. Here is empty. We block by this election. Then we lock back this glue. Same as the wet print head. Or oh, speaker. Sorry. Because we lock, we must also remove the tape. We must remove the pad, tape. Don't forget. Tape is for protective damper. Sometimes easy to forget. Pay more attention to that. Let me look back. Also, we must be sure the print head is vertical and horizontal. Not overlap. Try best to make the vertical and horizontal. Then look back. The first eight. And also we try to connect the dampers to be sure all the damper can be pushed down with good connection as this. Or connect wear without a shaking. So this is the car print head. Then we start to lock the print head cable. We find out the map again here. The car print head is go to the left this position, same as go to the, the board, this port. So we find out the left the top, <coughs> left the up, this is left the up. We find out left the up, this one. To connect with here, and then left the down. Here's left the down. You can find out left down here. The left down. We go to this position. Then we go to right, right up. We find out here. It's right up. Find out here. Then right down. Go to here. Right down. So this is the carpeting head connection. Then we start to install the varnish. We also put the varnish before we install. We must connect the head cable. Same connection. Left, right, bottom, and right top. And the left button and left the top. Must be have good connection. To double check, no wrong connection, no bending. Then we push print head to the port with this. And then we find out the varnish damper here. We find out the glue. Here we got the screw package. The lock here also must look like this. Here is empty, no force.
let me lock back. Also forget, you must you know, remember, don't forget to remove the tip. This is very important. Otherwise, you will block the connection. Let me lock back. Lock back the three screws. Like this. And also, before we tighten it, we must adjust the vertical and horizontal. Then we lock it. And then we try to lock the damper to check the damper if you can push it down and connect it. Connect it down and lock, no problem. Then we connect the last one spring head cable. See here, the map from here, one spring head. Same as this port from the board. This one. Then first we connect the left up, it's left up. Find out left up here. Then lift it down. Lift it down here. Also must be sure that all the connect wire. Then right up. This one. It's right up. And then go to the last one, right down, right down, from here. Then we can try to process the cables, one cable by one cable, to make it not, not too, too ugly, ugly. You can make this to bend it. You can make the cable bend a little bit. To make it a good connect, good enough gap for each pin. Bend a little bit, but not damage the pin. This way. Then it bit like this. Then we take it up, then we can put back the cover. So double check all the connection again before you power on the machine to be sure there's no wrong connection. Wrong connection with a short print head, a short machine, we are not happy. This is very really important. Don't forget, every connection must be correct, same as must be video. Then we put back the front maker cover. We put back from middle cover. Before we put back, we must be sure all the cable will not bend, not bend the cover. Double check all the connections, same as delivery. To make the cable, everything, good connection, as this. As this. We must pull up a little bit to make the edge of the cover same as the, the bottom. Otherwise, if we, we put it back from the cover, the cover will hit the, the table. It's better for move up, up a little bit for safety. Then we lock back. 
Das Plus. So this is the whole procedure to install the print head, print head cable to the board. To check the map again. No wrong connection, please. Like this. So later we will start to fill ink to the damper. <laughs> 